Hello everyone. Today I will show you how a simple method, easy method of replacing an LED of single LED of an LED backlit strip used in LED TVs nowadays. That is large screen, large size TVs. So this is the strip which will be used generally used in all the LED backlit TVs. So usually it has six LEDs or 9 LEDs depending upon the screen size here you can see this is one more strip and which from which I have used all the LEDs here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 actually this LED a, client, a technician tried to remove it with a solder gun and which was a failure total failure because we need to heat the strip from the bottom and then we need to so use the solder gun and replace it as, as I am showing you in the video this is the LED one strip which I have used to repair six TVs and more than six I have repaired but one strip and each LED I have used for repairing TVs in this way instead of wasting the strip just because one LED is failed you can use the good world LEDs to repair other TVs. So, to check the whole strip, that is, if only one LED does not glow in the TV, it is possible that the whole TV appears dim display, that is, none of the light will be glowing. In that case, to check the strip which is defective, that is, an individual LED in a strip which is defective. So to check the LED strip which is defective, just you need to short these two terminals with a tool which is having which is insulated because the frequency is high there. So to check that one, what we need to do is short these two terminals and if rest all strips LED light glows, only this strip doesn't glow, then it means that this strip has an independent LED, defective LED. If none of the LED strips glows, then you do go on doing the same thing with other strips that is shorting the plus minus terminals. So after shorting whichever strip, the other light, other strips start growing, then the strip which you have shorted has a defective LED. Hope I am not confusing you and to check now when you come get to know that which LED strip has a defective LED in it just remove that strip after removing the strip just what you need to do is just scrap a little bit here here and this side one Okay, this way only a little bit so that you can check it. So take the tester which I have told you how to make it in the previous video. Just check it in this way. Glow, change the polarity. Here it close. Then this LED is working fine. In the same way, you check other LEDs as well. Here it's glowing. Or check with all the LEDs. So here actually this strip is being brought to me from one of the technician, local technician and he has tested it this LED and he found that this particular LED is not working. So he has marked the cross mark here. So he want me to replace this LED, particular LED. I will show you how to do that. Just see this LED is not glowing. Here this one is glowing. This close, this also close, okay, This shows this whole strip is working properly. The technician has marked this strongly. 
that it is not working maybe he has not checked it properly in a proper way but still i will show you how to remove this led and re-solder it back for that just heat it a bit on the back side Apply a bit of paste, the dissolving flux, dissolving flux or chlorine flux. Apply a bit. After that, what we need to do is Take the hot air blower, hot air blower, set the temperature to 120 degrees and even if you, it, you are not able to desolder it for 120 degrees, just gradually go on increasing the temperature by 10, 5 or 10 degrees. So now heat it from bottom. Take your solder gun. This is the LED or you can say your defective LED. Right. So I will show you to remove one more LED from the other side here or take from the edge here. Just take this out gently. Heat it a bit from the bottom. Take the good LED which you had removed earlier or which you have removed from this strip. See that the polarities should match as you can see here. There is a copper plate large, large area and a small line. It should match here exactly but perfectly. Thank you. 
switch and we will fix one more LED which we had removed earlier see for the polarity it is very important See that the blow temperature is not too high. If it is too high, then it will burn the paint on the surface, and the, it will, the paint will darken. Okay, now the solder is melted. If you shake it, it should sit and space back side in this way. Okay. So after that, stick the sticker back. Stick it when the surface is a bit hot so that it fix properly and take some instant adhesive and stick this bulb as well. And this way here we stick. After sticking it, after it is After sticking and when after it cools down, clean the excess solder flux with IC, IP or thinner. You can see, just clean it. Then, after cleaning, apply some adhesive to the reflectors or you can say okay now we'll test it with the tester See these two are the LEDs we have interchanged. Right. See that you will not keep the just just a flash. Don't keep the LED glowing because if the LED is of a little bit low voltage, then it will blow out. It will not work further. And if it, the LED none of the LEDs will glow, then you need to take a higher voltage tester and test the LEDs and hope this video is useful for, this video is useful for you in replacing a independent individual LEDs of an LED TV backlight strip if this video has helped you kindly hit the like icon share the video and subscribe to our channel if you are not yet subscribed thank you for watching everyone have a good time